In the land of virgins, the man who's kissed to clitoris is king. Arya gets hazed Project Mayhem style, but by the end of the episode, Odo Yoda comes and gets her. If the rest of the season could just be extended training sequences about her becoming a ninja changeling, that'd be great. Brienne is depressed, but she just needs a job, and she gets one, well, sort of, when Pod spots Sansa and Littlefinger at the tavern. Cersei gets a warning from Inigo Montoya's common-law widow. A snake with your daughter's necklace hanging from the fang seems unambiguously threatening. Jaime plays dumb. Or maybe he is dumb? Unclear. Grabs Bronn for some black ops in Spain. Something tells me they won't have much trouble finding Princess Marcella. Glimpse of Ilaria and the Polio King. I wonder if his wheelchair is a state secret. Maybe this was part of the reason they sent Oberyn in the first place to Joffrey's wedding. Hmm. Tyrion and Varys on the road to Queen Danny. Unlikely feminist icon Cersei Lannister fighting for gender equality on the small council. Unlikely feminist ally pervert Dr. Frankenstein. We learn the mermaid princess's condition is the result of like a gangrene fever dream, and that she is a rare survivor. Stanny B and the Onion Knight want Jon Snow as their inside man leading the wild things. Mm. Ever since taking on the bankers and bravos, these two have just been a delightful tag team. I just mm, I love them. Too bad for them, though. Jon Snow, elected class president, the winning vote cast by that old Targaryen who doesn't give a fuck about anything. Commissioner Rawls is not happy. Is it just me, or is Burnett Dario Naharis quite straightforward and winsome after all? He gives Christoph Waltz's opening monologue in Inglorious Bastards and hand delivers a gold masked terrier. <laughs> terrier? No, terrorist. Danny agrees with Selmy's advice to be patient and do what's right for the people, then orders a hasty execution and triggers violent class war. Sweet last scene with her drag son. She needs her dragons. And some Lannister political magic. Soon.